I'm Susan Jordan and I am the media specialist at Pine Valley Elementary School. And this morning I'm going to talk to you about Hoopla, which is brought to the students from the New Hanover County Public Library class project. So all you have to do is follow these directions and you will be able to access Hoopla from your home via a device. You're asking me what Hoopla is. It is the ability to check out a novel or any book and your entire class can check it out with you so you can read along with your teacher or you can read along with a couple friends. Here we go, Hoopla. The first thing you need to do is you need to go to a search engine, any search engine, and find the New Hanover County Public Library. You can type in New Hanover County Public Library if you would like. Once you get to the New Hanover County Public Library, you will see across the top many words and the one drop down menu you need to pay attention to is services. From services, when you drop down, you can access class project. If you can't remember that, you can also go to the middle of the screen where there's more yeah. drop down menus and you can access class project this way as well. So you have two options to open class project. Under class project on the right hand side, you will see many tabs. You need to concentrate on the elementary school resource center. It's under class project online. And this is the class project logo so you will know that you are in the right place. Elementary school. And when you get to elementary school, you see some fabulous resources across the top. These are the top resources for elementary school. And we will talk about those resources at a later date. When you get down below those top resources, you will find Hoopla. Hoopla is new this year to Class Project. If students and teachers do not use Class Project Hoopla, it will be taken away. So it's very important that you access Hoopla. This is great if you are on the Battle of the Books team. You don't have to go out and buy a book. You don't have to wait for kids' digital library. Everybody in the state can check out the same book and read it at the same time. You just want to click on Hoopla Digital. From Hoopla Digital, you will see this screen. You are in Hoopla. You have an email and a password, but you have not signed in yet. You have not registered, so you need to get started today. So click here to create an account. This is what you need to fill in. Create your account using your home email or you can use your school Gmail account, which all of you will be receiving soon. But your parents might want to have access to it as well, so you might want to use a home email. They're going to ask you to confirm your email and then they're going to ask you to create a password. Use a password that are, you are very familiar with or write it down on a piece of paper so you will have that down by your computer. Then they're going to ask you to confirm your password. What is wonderful about Hoopla is you can access it 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It does not close down on weekends. It does not close down on at midnight. So once you have selected your email and created a password, you can agree and you now are going to be able to log in. Logging in is very simple. All you need to do is that email you have and the password that you created and push log in. Again, you can get an app on your phone or your tablet or your iPad, Hoopla Digital. Now I am in Hoopla. This is my Hoopla. Now, there is a drop down menu where it says browse. You can browse for music, you can browse for movies, you can browse for comics, you can browse for ebooks. 
Today, I'm going to show you simply how to browse for an ebook. You can type in either the name of your book or the name of the author. Miss Bullard, would you call the front office, please? Thank you. An important thing to remember is if you have difficulty spelling, it's going to tell you that a title you've typed in, if it's spelled incorrectly, we do not have. So if you don't know how to spell the title of your book, perhaps you know the spelling of the author. If not, take some time to find it so you don't get frustrated filling this out. All right, so I decided that I would help find The Tale of Despero. The Tale of Despero I typed up here. Now, tale can be spelled two ways. It can be spelled T-A-L-E or T-A-I-L. My dog has a T-A-I-L. But Despero is a story, so we're typing in T-A-L-E. Despero, French looking, French sounding, it does not end in P-R-O-W. It ends in E-A-U-X. So remember to find out how to spell the title of the book. Miss Bullard, can you please call the office? So once you type in your title, you can just hit enter and we pulled up A Tale of Despero. It is written by Kate DiCamillo, and many of you might be familiar with the author, Kate DiCamillo. So if you did not know how to spell Despero, you could have spelled DiCamillo. This shows us that we have an ebook. This rectangle with a half black, half white is an ebook. If it's an audio book, you will see headphones, but this is an ebook. Now we have a summary of A Tale of Despero. Here is our summary. Now if you decide after you read A Tale of Despero that you really, really like it, or maybe you haven't even read it yet, but you want to find more books on that same topic, we've got some more ideas of what you could type in. Actually, they're hyperlinks, so you really don't even have to type them in right now. You could push fairy tales and folklore, action and adventure, animals, mice, guinea pigs, etc. So those are some other topics that you could push to find more books. This gives the book a rating. I don't really pay attention to ratings. I might not like what somebody likes or I might really like something that somebody doesn't like. So I don't always pay attention to those ratings. I have also provided three links that all you have to do is push to find out how to use Hoopla on various devices. These are all YouTube videos that are extremely helpful. I would suggest that you go through them depending on what type of device you have and research how you're going to access it on the device you have at home. Again, Hoopla is available 24 hours, seven days a week. You have it available to you once you check it out for three weeks. You are allowed to check out four books at a time. If you have problems or any questions about Hoopla, please ask me. My email is right here, susan.jordan at nhcs.net. Again, this is part of class project brought to us by the New Hanover County Public Library. The New Hanover County Public Schools are thankful for the usage of all these databases provided to us by the New Hanover County Public Library.